Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the presentation. The presentation for the top student team prize uh, of the Bengali AI speech recognition competition. Uh, we are team Audio Alchemist. So here are the things that we are here to talk about. Uh, let's first start with our background. Uh, so our team consists of three members. Uh, here are the three members. Uh, so Edmos Tagonso is the team leader, uh, who is the lead AI research engineer of Celoscope Limited. Uh, we have Sakib Choudhury, uh, who is a graduate research fellow uh, at Stevens Institute of Technology. And finally, I have uh, myself, Dr. Mahu Murad. Uh, I'm currently working as an AI research engineer at Celoscope Limited. So all three of us has completed uh, our BSc from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. We had prior experience in speech recognition. Uh, we developed some speech-to-text models uh, for Bengali uh, for our industrial purpose. Uh, I personally participated in the DL Spring competition, uh, which was hosted by the same host, Bengali Tech AI, uh, previous year. Uh, this experience helped us a lot uh, for this competition. So let's now talk about the summary of our solution. Uh, our solution is a bit uh, straightforward than the other teams. Uh, our solution mainly comprises of two parts, uh, acoustic model and the language model. For acoustic model, we fine tune the warp to vector model, uh, AI for Bharat, in the warp to vector version on Bengali. And for language model, uh, we trained a five gram language model using KNLM. Uh, our leaderboard score for private lead report, uh, we scored 0 0.491, and for public, it was 0 0.413. And we stood 31st in the private lead report. So we used these data sets for training. For acoustic model, we mainly used the competition data set, uh, which was a 1,200 hours of audio data with transcriptions from a single domain. And we used open assembly 37 and 53 data set for the acoustic model. Uh, for language model, we mainly used IndieCorp version 1, version 2, uh, Bangla NMT dataset and the sentences of the competition dataset and the open data dataset. So here is a uh, brief pipeline of our solution. There are two parts you can see. One is acoustic model and the other one is a language model. So the main part of our solution is uh, mainly the data cleaning and the pre-processing process. So the uh, competition dataset was a crowdsourced dataset. So it contained some annotation errors since it was crowdsourced. Uh, it contained also some very noisy and uh, faulty audios. So we cleaned the data in two steps. In the first step, we filtered the data by audio length and sentence length ratio. So how did you do it? We first uh, took the audio length in second. Like, for example, we have an audio here of five seconds, and we uh, found out the length of the transcription. Uh, like, for example, here it has six words, so the ratio would be five by six. So then uh, what we did? Hello, am I audible still? Yeah, you can hear. So, so we found out the histogram of the unclean data. So you can see there are some uh, outliers. So this represents the faulty orders. Like there are some audios that are quite long, but its transcription is uh, very short, or the audio is very short, but its transcription is long. So that would mean that it has a uh, fault in his, in its annotation. So what he did, we removed the outliers and kept the maximum uh, frequency loss. So in step two, we use the metadata provided by the host uh, that contain data quality analysis is an NISQA. So that contains some quality metrics, um, mainly mean opinion score, noise test, correlation, discontinuity, and loudness. So what we did, we determined the optimum values for each of the quality metrics, and then filtered the data with those values. We only kept the good samples, and it left, at, left us uh, with a, around half a million data samples to train. So for data pre-processing, we mainly uh, did, we resembled the audio at 16,000 sampling rate, always the audios. Uh, we extracted features and processed using warp to vector processor. Uh, finally, we did group by length. Uh, this helped us to train our models faster. For text pre-processing, uh, we removed sentences that contain characters from other languages, such as English, uh, or we removed the numbers. We also removed the punctuations to train our acoustic model. Uh, and we normalized the sentences using the Unicode normalizer. So we used this augmentation, they are quite simple. Uh, one thing we did differently was we added background noise from the other audio samples of different domains. Like uh, the example mp 3s we are given from the host, we uh, added the background noise to our training samples as augmentations. Uh, here's the training methods. So we the base model we used was AI for Bharat in the back to uh, version one. It was mainly fine-tuned on another pre model, which was pre-tuned on 40 Indic languages. Uh, here are the training parameters. 
uh, we tried to tweak much, but that didn't uh, show that much of promise. This is why we used uh, mostly the default values. Uh, our hardware was mainly one NVIDIA RTX uh, F4500 GPU of 20 GP uh, memory. Training time was around five days. So the important interesting findings were like, the data quality was the more important thing than data quantity. So the 1200 hours of data didn't help us that much. Rather, the filtered data uh, came out as came out more helpful to us. Uh, the bigger LM language model we built, it helped us to take a lot of vocabulary words and fine tuning an already fine tuned model turned out better than fine tuning the base model. Like we tried to fine tune some other check words, but it seemed like uh, this ch uh, check word we used to fine tune the model uh, helped us a lot more. So here are some of the things. Uh, the main thing is our solution is uh, may seem pretty straightforward. Like this is the thing that worked, but there are tons of experiments we tried, but it didn't work. Here are some of these. So we uh, worked with audio enhancer or denoiser since the audio is mainly contained uh, music, uh, other things as background noises. We uh, thought that audio enhancer or denoiser might work. So we tried to use deep filter net uh, and speech to brain subformer, uh, but none of them actually worked. Uh, they didn't show that much improvement. Uh, for transition model, we experimented with a uh, Barton T5 based model. Uh, it didn't improve much. We tried to uh, add an already uh, pre trained model, but at the competition time, we couldn't fit it in the memory. After the competition, we were able to do it, and we saw that uh, it would have scored 3.472 and would have given us a 19th position. But at the time, we couldn't do it. Uh, we initially also experimented with the whisper based models, but it, it didn't show much uh, promise. Uh, we think mainly because of the wrong annotations. We didn't filter the data at that point. So later, we realized whisper uh, could have performed better. We also experimented with other WAF2 vector fine tuned models, uh, like other checkpoints that were uh, already performing good for Bangla, but that didn't also perform better either. So, that was the summary of our solution. Uh, would like to take any questions if you have.